hear that biker coming. It's rolling around the track. Sounds like an old two-stroke. It must be Ronnie Mac. Let his throttle stuck wide open. And he How's it going, guys? My name is Michael so Cross Mike, and today we're back in another video. Finally, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in the past few days. I've been really busy, and plus there hasn't really been anything else to upload a video on. But today we finally have some information and basically the full details on the first DLC map pack for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so I guess we'll get straight into this but first I just want to say I'm very sorry for not uploading uh, lately I just want to, I'm just so grateful on how many subscribers I've gotten and how many views I've gotten in like the past week and I want to thank you guys a lot and don't worry I'm not done on YouTube just because I haven't uploaded in three days there really hasn't been much to upload and I've been really busy with a lot of things and it is sort of like Christmas break, so you're off from school and shit, and video games get boring after a while, you know, but anyways, um, that's about that, again, sorry for no uploads, but we're gonna get straight into this, so basically there have been a lot of things released, uh, I guess people have been seeing like this, because usually there's like a poster at like GameStop that people will see and then they'll tweet it out on Twitter, take a picture and tweet it, and it'll go viral basically, and then sledgehammer games well that basically happened and then sledgehammer games uh came up and officially uh released an official picture on the first dlc that shows all the maps and everything i'll more than likely have it on the screen here and i am playing gta because i'm sort of bored of advanced warfare i'm saving advanced warfare for the dlc i don't want to get bored of it <laughs> and then be bored while playing the dlc but anyway, holy shit fucking bit train right into me but anyways, I'm uh, showing you this picture right now more than likely, so I'm going to go through the details. So January 27th is the official release date. I already did a video on the official release date, so that is really cool. It's sort of similar to the release date of the Modern Warfare 3 uh, first map pack, and Sledgehammer Games did take part in that game, if you guys don't know. But anyways, off topic a little bit there, but only on Xbox Live January 27th. All you PlayStation and PC users, sorry to say, but... I have an Xbox and I'll be playing it before you. So DLC Pack 1, uh, the new Exo Zombies mode like I've already covered. It is a standalone mode, it isn't just Exo Survival, the last map that you get to play a little wave of zombies. You're actually going to be able to play a full standalone zombie modes, basically in a modern, even more modern version with Exo suits and zombies that actually have Exo suits on, so it's going to be really cool. I'm going to be playing a lot of that. Hopefully it's just as good as Treyarch's and it's not like a freaking pathway story mode bullshit like Extinction. So the AE4 Widowmaker or the regular AE4 was already released if you have the Season Pass. If you don't, I really suggest you buy the Season Pass. I'm sort of doing advertising for Sledgehammer here, but it is actually a deal because you basically get $10 off and you get all the cool things early. So. It is $10 off because if you buy it, bought all the DLC separately, it would be more money. So anyways, getting into the map. So Sideshow basically looks like a really, really weird map. It's, I'd like to say it's an amusement park, but I'm not entirely sure at this point. Um, either that or a ghost town. It, it just looks weird if you ask me. Core is some sort of like, I, w I want to say a nuclear like reactor or nuclear core for something, but I'm I, I'm not entirely sure with all that futuristic technology. But the next one, Drift, is basically like a backcountry town, and if you look closely, you can see there's a Christmas tree in the background. So that's really cool. So that's really cool having to do with the holidays and stuff. But urban is basically like an urban setting in like a 2020, not 2025, like a 2050 year 2050 like city. So that looks really sweet, and of course. DLC is called Havoc, if you don't really know. So basically that is all that. I am playing GTA here, but I just want to let you guys know that New Year's Eve day and New Year's Day, there's actually going to be snow coming back to GTA, and I will be doing a video on that, so you can expect a video tomorrow or the day after, unless there's even better stuff than that, which there more than likely won't be unless somehow I get that DLC tomorrow, but I more than likely won't because it's not released until January, so... Anyways guys, hope you guys did go to enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, and I just crashed wrecked bad there. I'm surprised I'm not dead, but <laughs> anyways guys, I'm um, going to try to find my bike here. Um, make sure you comment if you want to suggest any content I should do. 
I mean, there really isn't much to do around now. Isn't much new out. I mean, there's nothing much. <laughs> That's about it. Nothing much. But anyways, uh, make sure you guys do stay subscribed. I'm just wrecking horribly in GTA here. But stay subscribed. I want to thank all of you subscribers for subscribing. It really means a lot to me and it encourages me to make a lot more content for you guys. And I hope you guys do enjoy the content. If you have any suggestions on things, make sure you do comment. That always helps. Or just leave a nice comment. Either way, it's awesome. And like the video if you enjoyed. Um, if you're going to look at what else I should say. Uh, or well, follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with things. I don't post on there frequently, but when I do post, it's usually something important, like something like this, or I have a new video, or a really important update for you guys that I usually don't have the time to do an update video on YouTube, so that is about that, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, like I already said, and I will see you guys later, more than likely tomorrow, or the day after for sure, in another video.